Всем шалом, дорогие друзья! А у нас, несмотря ни на что, все равно Агит Шабес. Хотим пожелать хорошей мирной субботы, даже в среду. Давайте споем все вместе. Мы вам желаем мира, мира и любви. Эй, мы ща. 
крикнем громко перед Богом всех богов. Он рукой своей могучей поражает всех врагов. Струбите громко трубы, пусть кимвалы загремят. Всем народам Божью славу будем мы провозглашать. Пусть Израиль торжествует славой, восклицает перед ним. Бог наш сильный в броне, перед сильным Богом преклонимся. Будем славить мы его, петь и веселиться.
тебе веселиться царь. Ирони, дочь Сиона, дочь Иерусалима, Субтитры 
печаль мою в хоровод, Третище снял и радость спасения дал. И обратил печаль мою в хоровод, Печаль в хоровод ты обратил, Ты обратил печаль мою в хоровод, Третище снял и радость спасения да славит тебя, душа моя, в радости, в радости, и не молчи, и не молчи, славит тебя. Слава тебе, Господь. Аллилуйя, аллилуйя. Хотим немножко прочесть очень хорошие места Писания. Если скажешь в сердце твоем, Народы сии многочисленнее меня. Как я могу изгнать их? Не бойся их. Вспомни то, что сделал Господь, Бог твой, с фараоном и всем Египтом. Не страшись их, потому что Господь, Бог твой, среди тебя. Бог великий и страшный. Боже мой, да будут они как пыль в вихре, как солома перед ветром, как огонь сжигает лес и как пламя опаляет горы, так прогони их бурей твоей и вихрем твоим приведи их в смятение. Исполни лица их бесчестием, чтобы они взыскали имя твое, Господи. Да постыдятся и сметутся навеки, да посрамятся и потеряются, и да познают, что ты, которого одно имя Господь, Всевышний над всей землей. И самое необходимо важное для нас. Яков, раб Бога и Господа Ишуа Машеха, двенадцати коленом, находящимся в рассеянии. Радоваться. С великой радостью принимайте, братья мои, когда впадаете в различные искушения, зная, что испытание вашей веры производит терпение. Терпение же должно иметь совершенное действие, чтобы вы, мы, были совершенны во всей полноте, без всякого недостатка. Oh. 
давайте сейчас закроем глаза и поднимем наши руки к Нему. И скажем, Господь, как мы Тебя любим. Ты наше спасение. Ты наша радость. Нет подобного Тебе. Не на кого нам больше уповать. Только на нашего Отца Небесного. Отец наш и Царь наш. Твердыня Израиля, Ты искупление Его. Слава Тебе!
Знаете, хочется еще спеть пару строчек, потому что у нас сейчас еще будет продолжаться наш эфир. Так вот, все-таки мы еще споем. Не журите хлопцы, любые аиды, скоро придем наш машинах, будем мородиты, будем мородиты. Будем успевать нашего машина. Аллилуйя! Слава тебе, Господь наш, спасибо тебе. Не отключаемся, друзья. Продолжаем наш эфир. Очень скоро будет наш Рэбе Борисович. Шалом. Шалом. друзья. Шалом. Шалом. Once again, we've had such a nice surprise this time. Vitali and Natasha, they led us in worship to our dear Lord. The, that was a great start of this program. And I think that some people are disappointed that uh, the worship was over, over so soon. I asked them to continue, but they didn't want to make too much time. But that's bad, so bad. Okay, now it's our turn. I will start with the comments today. Shabbat does not finish. Shalom, dear brothers and sisters. Shalom from 
Sarichanka. Thank you, Elena. You make us so happy constantly. We wish you peace, happiness, and love. That's one from Germany. We have lots of shaloms. We have some quotations from the Psalms. Praise the Lord for Natalie and Vitali. Lord bless them. Well, me as well, and I'm happy because of it. Shalom from Paris. God shall arise. Yes, Galina. Shalom from Italy. God's grace be upon you. Shalom and God's peace from Lithuania, Omsk, that's in Russia. So Omsk is almost our brotherly city. No, there is no one but one God. Lots of quotations from Jewish worship songs. And Shabbat continues. Natalia and Vitali, you are amazing. I believe they accept that with no false humility because that is thanksgiving to the Lord. А вот Жанна from Lithuania. Два слова о нем. Удивительный человек. Удивительный. He's an amazing person. Собрал тех, которых никто не. He gathered the people whom no one wanted to accept. И он сделал с ними супер. And he made a super farm with them. И the Italians taught this guy and he uh, makes a uh, kind of cheeses that Euro Union uh, made an exception in their laws and so the Union allows uh, the farm to sell this kind of cheese into Europe without extra uh, certifications. And this is a great blessing for our people as well, and you just, the, the cheeses are incredible. Even the fancy French cheeses, they just are not as good. And so they send us their greetings, and they are waiting for the Lord to come. Janus, you're amazing. Blessed is the Lord, He fights for us. Amen. Shalom from Moldova, from Chisinau. Something in Turkish, I don't speak that. Have some smileys in the message. How good it is to hear you, Natalie and Vitaly. Good evening, greetings from Belarus. May joint peace be upon your land and let that happen to Belarus as well. Thank you for your support. It is so powerful and beautiful to see Natalie and Vitaly on the screen. We bless Eretz Israel, we pray for peace to Jerusalem, and we bless every Jew all over the world. And all nations shall see that the Lord of Israel is with us, and whosoever stands against the people of the Lord will be put to shame. Amen. Shalom to everyone. That's from Skadovsk, Herson Oblast. My soul rests and finds itself in the Father's embraces. All glory to Him alone.
He has God as protection, shalom from Svetlovodsk. We pray and fast and we believe in God's triumph. Shalom from Kazakhstan. Shalom from Germany. Shalom from Kiev. Shalom from Vasil Kiev. Uh, we would love to see such a worship even tomorrow's program. Yes, we will keep that in mind. Lots of greetings. Yesterday I felt tired, and after uh, the reminder reminder that we should keep uh, praising the Lord, spending time like that, and I wasn't tired anymore after that. I felt such a shalom. Some 96 sing to the lord a new song sing to the lord the whole earth praise the lord praise his name proclaim his salvation from day to day great and marvelous are your works lord god almighty round dances bring us to heaven <laughs> When we truly praise the Lord, angels round dance around us. We may not see them, we may not feel them, and we may not feel their wings covering us, but they do that in the glory of the Lord. And they lift us up to meet Him. That is true. Happy Jewish uh, song and solid face of Vitaly the drummer is something. Let us praise him with shouts and praise. Be merry. Jewish Holy Spirit. <laughs> Shalom from Prakarpatya. It's Ukraine. Shalom from Belarus, from Constanza, and so on. Shalom from Seattle. I can't wait to see your program every day. It brings peace and hope. Well, if they have such hope in Seattle, that means we are even better than that. Shalom from Obolon, that's in Kiev. I figured out that uh, most of Americans, they didn't know where Ukraine was, and now they know where Obolon is. That's in Kiev, in case you didn't know. Shalom from Germany, Shalom from Kolumna, that's near Moscow, Moscow's vicinity. We love you forever. Shalom from Kremenchuk, that's Ukraine. Taras, as he says, felt the passage from Isaiah. Nine, Isaiah nine. Well, that's good for him. Shalom from Boyerka, Nivki. It's it's Kiev's vicinity. Uh, Slovakia. But a great family atmosphere. Shalom, brothers and sisters from Ver Verkhodnyprovsk. May, may God arise and his enemies be scattered. We are one family and under one name. People are thanking for this great worship. Murmansk, that's in Russia. 
is with us. More shaloms from Germany, Vinitsa Oblast. Put trust in the Lord and forget not his works and keep his commandments. Rabbi Boris, greetings from Anergodar. We remember how you visited us. We bless you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. More hellos to Vitaly and Natasha. Shalom from me and my children from Poland. I praise the Lord that we are safe here. Shalom from Krasnodar, that's Russia. Okay. Want to disappoint you? I don't have a specific scripture uh, that would have been told in words to me. But I would like to read two scriptures. First is Psalm number 34 the very beginning. A psalm of David, when he pretended madness before Abimelech, who drove him away and he departed. When I read this introduction for the first time, I thought, well, what kind of psalm can one write after this introduction? I thought to myself, well, maybe this kind of psalm, or maybe that kind of psalm. Well, maybe, maybe this kind of psalm. And I kept on reading, and I was shocked. A psalm of David, when he pretended madness before Abimelech, who drove him away and he departed. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. We will bless the Lord at all times, all times, all times. That means all times, every time. Just think about this. You know, think about what David uh, went through, it was mortal danger shame, he had to pretend madness, spitting with saliva and stuff. He came there and every day he was afraid to die and only after they drove him away only after all of these events, he felt relieved and he started blessing the Lord. And he said that he would bless him at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Continually, it means good times, bad times. Even when David was uh, kind of outcast in the desert. What one would praise the Lord for? And you could say, what did the Lord have to do with that? It was all David's uh, thing. No, that's not true. You know how many believers backslide after they sin, uh, it's been found out, and uh, not even sins, some believers just make some horrible mistakes and mistakes ruin their reputation and they feel so ashamed They're, they feel asha more ashamed than if they would have done something horrible they don't want to see other believers they leave congregations they feel so ashamed before the Lord because they feel that the Lord keeps on driving them further and further and further 
but that's not true because they end up in the enemy's claws. But no, David kept on praising the Lord. He found the reasons to do that. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. The humble. The humble may get David. Humble, the humble may see that. Like, if David was in these circumstances, he did not curse the Lord, he didn't turn away from him, he didn't flee from him. But when he departed Abimelech, he came to the Lord. That means we can do that as well, whatever happens at all times. May our soul praise Him. We will bless the one who wants to bless us at all times. And even if we don't see his blessings, but we see uh, horrible things around us, like what's going on in Ukraine, he may change our minds, he may change our perspective. He may make things visible in so much way that our spiritual eyes will see the Lord's goodness even right here and right now. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt His name together. We did that together. We exalted His name together with Natalie and Vitaly, and we will continue doing that. And I will be very grateful to you if you keep on praising the Lord, if you keep on praying in spirit, worshiping Him as you watch this. Don't be shy to dance even and shout out for His glory. And this way you will support me and all of us as well and you will make this program even more spiritually fiery. I sought the Lord, and He heard me and delivered me from all my fears. This is the, the very gem of, our, of today. There is a sequence. I sought the Lord, and He heard me and delivered me from all my fears. That's not a, not a very standard way to seek the Lord. If you read uh, this story, it's First uh, Samuel, uh, chapter number twenty-one. So the, the story in the, the first verse again. I saw the Lord, and He heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Well, if you read the scripture unbiased, you will be confused, but the Holy Spirit will help you to see that David truly did it and the Lord answered him and truly delivered him from all his fears. They looked to him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed were not ashamed. How so? David was so ashamed and he was drove away in such a shameful way. But his face was radiant with reflection of God's glory. This poor man cried out and the Lord heard him. Many people in Ukraine, they grew poor almost instantly. They, are, they found themselves with bags, very limited amounts of goods with them. Some people had to flee. 
talking about refugees. But if our friends who found themselves in such a critical condition cry out to the Lord, He will lean to them. And he will satisfy them with his comfort and inner richness, wealth, by leaning down to them. And he will take care of them the way they couldn't have imagined. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. All people need that. Every person needs this. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. That's probably one of my favorite scriptures. The Lord calls us to taste. How do you do that? There is no interpretation of how to do that. This is a delight in the Lord, like Isaiah 58 goes. Not just the joy of the Lord, as the translation goes, no, it's delight in the Lord. This is available to all children of God who are humbled and with contrite spirit, uh, who don't bothered by reputation, but they try to please our Savior. They try to open to Him. And they allow his mercy and his goodness to fill them. And with faith, they allow him to become joy and sweetness in their lips. And everyone who experiences that, they came to this in a special way. O fear the Lord, you, his saints, there is no want to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. And this amazing psalm goes on and on. Verse number 17. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have broken heart, and saves such as have a contrite spirit. In Ukraine, we have everything for our hearts to become humble, broken. The question is, to whom we are opening our brokenness? Whom are we, are we revealing our pains and confusion? To whom we show our desperation? If we do that to the Lord, His intimacy grows special. And in this case, we experience His nearness in a way we haven't experienced in so much time. Maybe you prayed like, God, I don't feel your intimacy. And now it is the time when He is ready to show this in a special way way many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord delivers him out of them all many are the afflictions of the children of god who do not trust in themselves but in him and he promised to deliver and some people think well at least deliver me from the, the worst of afflictions but the psalm says the Lord delivers him out of them all all afflictions and he knows how to do that 
He guards all his bones, not one of them is broken. This is a, a promise uh, about Messiah, that's not for us. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Thank you for these fervent words and for these amazing living promises. And another scripture that I would love to read, the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 10, starting with verse 23. This is a, before this there is a story about a wealthy young man, but uh, you know that. So verse number 23, Mark 10. Then Yeshua looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were astonished at his words, but Yeshua answered, Children, how difficult it is. For those who trust in riches to enter the kingdom of God. And as I remember, the disciples were astonished in the Gospels two times. Uh, the first one was this instance and another about uh, when Yeshua spoke about marriage uh, it's how and uh, the strict rules of for divorce it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of god and they were greatly astonished saying among themselves who then can be saved well, because in, in the torah there is a promise of god that if people, the people of God and the, their majority are following God, they had this promise that, that the people of Israel would not only be provided with everything, but provided with riches. And according to the Old Covenant, that uh, the most righteous people could be uh, blessed worldly wise very very much and here we read a completely contrary thing and this is one of the new features of the new covenant in the books of Tanakh we can see passages that say that we shouldn't love money, we shouldn't cling our heart to riches. Nevertheless, those warnings uh, don't exclude uh, the riches themselves. But here we see a completely different approach. That's why the disciples were astonished. But Yeshua looked at them and said, with man it is impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. Yeshua stresses that we cannot be saved by our own works, no matter how much effort we put, and maybe uh, there are many displays of righteous, like rich, but that doesn't matter. Then Peter began to say to him, See, we have left all and followed you. He began speaking and Yeshua interrupts him and says, Assuredly, I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the Gospels. It is not only for my sake 
It also says, and the gospel's sake. This is important, that's the gospel of Mark we are talking. And so those people who say, it's all about personal relationship with God. Everything else is not that important. That's not true. If one enters personal relationship, that should be expressed in his service, in his ministry. Who shall not receive a hundred fold now and this time houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. Now, in this time, a hundred, a thousandfold. And so now thousands, hundreds of thousands Ukrainians they find new lands, they find new homes. People in Poland and other countries of Europe greet them as their own. People are being taken care of because they were forced to leave their homes. They were forced to leave their loved ones. And they found new houses in new lands. And they found new relatives and spirit. What's peculiar is that this happens not with believers alone. This happens with all refugees. But God's children are being accepted in a special way intentionally. Of course, that this uh, prominent family acceptance is uh, because of believers. Believers fulfill the commandment, take care of your own in spirit firstly. And so, it came that believers, the children of God, they are welcoming other children of God from different countries and Europe, Israel, Canada has opened, it, opened its doors. And this is a literal fulfillment of this promise in the Gospel of Mark. Of course, there is nothing about uh, physical houses and lands. There is nothing about physical relatives. The promise is about spiritual ownership, spiritual gains, and we can see it come into pass before our own eyes, the large scale. We live in a time when the fulfillment of promises are tangible. This is an amazing thing. Just take a look at what's going on in front of our eyes. This is a terrible time for Ukraine. But together with that, so many blessed hearts of our brothers and sisters are getting opened to meet our needs. Yeah, there are a lot of worldly people who have this compassion and love from God. They don't know God Himself yet, but they have this fire from Him. We are so happy and we respect such people, but right now we are talking about believers to believers. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. Now they were on the road going up to Jerusalem, and Yeshua was going before them, and they were amazed, and as they followed, they were afraid. These verses are interconnected. They 
they couldn't came to senses after this astonishment because they came to know that wealth is not a way in heaven but that's an obstacle it is hard to put your trust uh, not to put your trust in your wealth when you have that it's hard not to consider yourselves supreme over those who don't have such wealth then we read about this strange promise about leaving homes leaving families and receiving a hundredfold of everything and you can feel that disciples couldn't connect all those things they couldn't get what the Lord promised to them so that's why they were still astonished and they were getting more afraid and afraid on their way to Jerusalem and what was Yeshua's comfort <clears throat> then he took the twelve aside again and began to tell them the things that would happen to him behold we are going up to Jerusalem and the Son of Man will be betrayed to the chief priests and to the scribes and they will condemn him to death and deliver him to the Gentiles and then they will mock him and scourge him and spit on him and kill him and the third day he will rise again well, to be honest, I tried to think as disciples did, I would have lost it simply. I don't know what happened to them, but in spiritual reality, that was a true comfort. And in these hard times, important times, He knows how to comfort us, truly comfort us, not to simply cover our mood, not to simply distract us from our fears and our confusion, not being sure about tomorrow, but he wants his comfort to penetrate our souls. He knows how to say things that will soon will uh, lead us to a breakthrough, but maybe not right now. And everything that took a hold of us will be torn apart by the deep penetration of God's word and we will be set free and breathe freely with a holy air from heaven I will read more comments I don't remember where I stopped uh, Psalm 34 is an amazing word. Yes, I agree with you. We participate in prayer meetings online every day. We hear explosions around us, but when you have shalom in your heart, you can support those around you. Amen. Thank you, Natasha. People from Belarus pray and they want the victory to happen. Shalom from Lviv. We're singing and rejoicing and hope for the victory to come. Shalom, how to not to lose your heart and bless everyone. That's why we read the Word of God. Shalom from Krasnodar, that's Russia. We love you and pray for you. There are comments about some prophecy and 
I don't want to go into that. Another shalom from Paris. After watching these programs, the Lord has restored my sleep completely. Another testimony like that. It is so good, so important that you write those to us. We care about that when you share what the Lord does to you. Blessed be the Lord at all times. Yes, amen. Thank you for the prayer for the lower back. In the previous program, we prayed for the lower back's healing, and so she realized something, and another thing healed. Well, this brother is very spiritual. So the lower back realized something and something else got healed. So, and the, the lower back understood something and it didn't work, but it helped something else to be healed. That's a mystery. But in the end, as the brother says, praise the Lord, glory to God. It is so good to see and listen to this and flow in your river. Shalom. My mother tried to convince my family to leave from the city that is sieged, and they did not want to do that. And well, probably ran out of characters in the comments. I praise, I dance, and I shout. And I want to say this is very satisfying. Yes, that's for sure. I can shout out, that's 1.30 a.m., but I pray in spirit non-stop. Thank you for the singing ah, and praising, I didn't pray, no, so about, the, and so they didn't leave the city, and I worshipped the Lord and asked the Lord to give them knowledge and show them the real things, and I talked to my wife after the prayer, I said that I was not going to leave the city, and the family called and said, they were going to leave the city, and that's amazing. Shalom from Zaporizhia. We thank the Lord for our answered prayer. We asked you to pray for our grandma, and she is good. We were asked to pray for the grandma, we did, for her leg. And she is walking. Thank you. Thank you. Poltava is with us. The Lord showed me Psalm number 34 this morning. At 11 a.m. Uh, we had prayer in different places. And somewhere where our brothers and sisters prayed, they had this word. You know, I wasn't told to share this psalm. I just knew that I should read this, and the Lord revealed this to another person. This is an amazing proof. Lord, work your puri miracle. Forgive us and stop the word in the name of Yeshua. Rabbi, should we play, pray for our nuclear power plants? And for nuclear power plants, and for power plants in general, and for the whole infrastructure of Ukraine, and for the civilians, and for everything, for protection, for salvation, and for this nonsense around us despite the will of God to stop. And this nonsense was started by spiritual forces controlling some people. I liked this saying that Ukraine shall rise from the dead. Many people are like in this parable about Good Samaritan for the robbed man, this, the Samaritan did all he could. Yes, there are so many amazing people in Ukraine and in Europe helping out the refugees. 
they send their support and help, they pray, this is incredible. Exodus 14, 14. The Lord will fight for you, you shall hold your peace. Well, maybe. Shalom from Israel, we pray with you. Your programs help to sleep well, all the panic and fear go away. In Khmelnytsky, we pray for the peace in Ukraine and for the believers to rise in Russia, for the veil of silence to be broken off and for a spiritual explosion of Babylon would happen from within. God keeps those who are His and His pray the, keep those who are His. My family called me back from a city that is under attack. I couldn't reach them since yesterday. Now they are safe, they are alive. Father is good. Can we pray for the dreams not to have bad dreams? Yes. Yes, we can. My heart is troubled uh, about things like if this happens in Lithuania and I had a passage regarding trust and protection and that means I should trust him even more. Another person said that uh, I was blessed with bread. Was blessed with bread. That's Olga. Just think about this. This is truly a right God's time. Thank you. You shared this heart of compassion. This is you have truly intimate relationship with the God of Israel. You are going through temptations, tests. I'm from Belarus, and I'm a bit jealous to you because I believe for God's revival that it will happen after the war. Just imagine this, friends. I pray for peace in the whole world, for people to learn how to forgive and love each other. Lord, protect everyone who are under bombings and shootings, who are leaving, and the road isn't safe. May your walls be raised on the left and on the right around your children, around their homes, their cars, their families, the trains they are at, everywhere. May those invisible walls be intact. And let any evil won't penetrate that. And we thank you. We thank you that you are our Savior at all times. And at this kind of time, it's doublish, triplish so. And that is your promise. You said that you are close to those who are broken hearted. Thank you. Thank you. Please place your pierced hand on those who are hurt, who are afraid, who are desperate, and who do not know what happens next. May your gracious fire will penetrate them through your wounds and will transform their emotions, feelings, and thoughts and make those thoughts an ascending river of prayer, praise, and trust to you. Lord, please, may this healing fire 
out of your wounds will burn the roots of any disease, any weakness, let it burn out all the roots. Praying about natural diseases, spiritual diseases, mental diseases, let those roots be burned out by a blazing holy fire that is coming out of your wounds. Renew faith, renew our walk with you, renew our joy. Amen. Let's pray about dreams. Lord, make sure that all of us, all of your children, could have a good rest and all the foolish nonsense, all the panics and fears, all the ungodly dreams, let that be gone by your breath. Glory, glory to the King of Kings. Congratulations, friends. The Lord is at hand. So be anxious for nothing, even if there were reasons to be anxious. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known. Requests mean fears, anxieties, and the peace of God, which is, surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Yeshua HaMashiach. This Shalom will come down on you and will guard your eyes, your minds, your ears. And only Yeshua HaMashiach can guard your peace like that. It's so bad I can't give you a hug. I would love to, but here in the office we, we hug each other, brothers, brothers, sisters, sisters, husbands, wives. We hug each other quite often because this is very helpful and supporting. It gives such an encouragement of faith and a sense of family nearness of Yeshua. Try not to stay alone at this time. Wherever you are, there are always brothers and sisters dear to you in the Lord. Wherever you are, He is with, with you. He is for us. And He will provide you with necessary meetings. And we can't wait to see you next time, if God's will.